So there is a tool called Glass Wizard, which helps you to understand two important parameters, which is very uh, basic need when you do a glass design. One is called the thickness analysis, another one is called the cost benefiting or the payback analysis. So to do a thickness analysis, what are the basic uh, design conditions you need? You need to know what is the building location. Based on the location, we need to calculate the actual wind speed as per the IS875 new code, new version. So once I know the basic wind speed, I need to know what is the panel size I am going to design in my facade. Once I know the panel design, I might have to have some basic understanding whether this building I am going to use a single glazing unit or a double glazing unit. So once these basic three things are defined, I know my wind speed and I know my panel size and I know my glass combination. The only challenge now I have is in this glass combination, what should be the glass thickness I am supposed to use to make the building safer which is an important criteria called safety. To go through this, uh, to check the safety, there are codes available like ASTM E1300, BS6262 or the American standard, Australian standard AS1288 or there is a Singapore code which is called CP96. These are the four different codes available internationally to suggest us how to design or how to understand the glass deflection and based on the wind speed, when there is a deflection happens to understand what is the maximum tolerance I can design. So this tool, in this tool, it will help you to understand the, uh, the standard. If you, if you can see the screen, uh, there are four different codes available. So you can select the codes and then you have a provision to uh, enter your wind speed based on your wind tunnel experiment or if we do not have any understanding on the wind speed, the, the tool will help you to select. So you have to select the, the building criteria, you have to select the building criteria, the height of the building, the location of your project and what is the height of your top panel so that to understand whether the building is a medium or an extremely high rise building. So once you know this, we, are, we, we have to integrate your what is the panel height and the panel width that has been decided. Once this is decided, we need to know whether I am going for a single glazing application or a double glazing application. Based on the kind of application, then I have to select what kind of processing I am supposed to use as per the NBC. Say for example, if it is a facade where I am going to access it or it is going to be a sloped or going to be in vertical or horizontal, based on it I have to select whether it is annealed, toughened, heat strengthened and laminated or laminated. Once this option is selected, I have a provision to select the glass thickness if I have an idea or if I do not have an idea, I can just click the, uh, the execute button so that it goes, it gives me a report like this which says what is the panel size which is uh, 1250 cross 1245 and it, I have mentioned it as a four sided support means I have a frame on all the four sides. I have selected the cyclone factor 1 because that is a new addition as per the IS825. Uh, the wind pressure considered in this case I have just given an example where uh, I have done a wind tunnel experiment where the wind speed has to be considered higher than what is suggested or proposed in IS825. So my testing has given highest wind possibilities at 4 kPa. So in this case, I wanted to check whether the suggested lamination combination can be used and it says for the actual deflection for this lamination for the design wind speed is 6.84 whereas allowable is 7.14 mean the allowable deflection is higher than the actual. So the design is safe. So once I do the, the glass thickness calculation, the second portion I can do is to understand what kind of product and what how it going to make an impact on my building. So in this base glaze I can select it as an option whether it can be the clear or the clear double glazing or ECBC as your basic requirement as a base case requirement. Then you can select the products from the list and you are supposed to give some basic details like direction wise direction wise you are uh, if you have a shading device you have to give the imp details about the shading device. You have to give the glazing area respect to each direction what kind of chillers you are going to use and what is efficiency, what is the cost of electricity and you can even select what is the kind of a building, you can select the operating days in a week whether it is a 5 day operational building or a 6 day or a 7 day and whether the building is to be operational for 8 hours, 12 hours or 24 hours or the months of operation because there can be some offices which can have a standardized vacation period so you can understand even that, you can input that data. Moment you put all this basic required data your glazing area, your glazing area respect to direction, your cooling system details, 
and your operational details based on the product that you have selected you can get a detailed report like this which will help you to understand what is the AC requirement compared to the base, base option that you have selected versus a proposed option. In this case for an example you have selected or you have wanted to compare a single 6 mm thick clear float glass versus a product which has a uh, lower solar factor and lower light transmission. So very clearly you can see there is a huge reduction about 15 percent reduction in your HVAC the overall tonnage requirement which has a, again investment which has an impact on your overall electricity cost which is going to be uh, consumed in the en entire year. Plus you can understand what is the investment uh, required in case of a glazing overall savings and what is your uh, savings on your HVAC part and even considering even considering the HVAC capex savings as your savings just by the maintenance saving it hardly need 10 months period to recover the investment that has been done on the glass. So this is a very simple tool where during a design phase of your building you know the basic dimension of your building and basic area of your glass area of your building. You can input into the uh, software which helps you to give a very clear understanding what is the investment of the glass I am going to do, what is the kind of a glass I am going to select whether it is from generation 1 to generation 5. Based on the generation of the glass there is a difference on your overall impact on your building uh, energy demand which is what this tool can help you. So it can even uh, give a very detailed plot or a bar chart and it can give you some kind of uh, it will help you to understand uh, the inferences and it has been uh, very clearly backed by what are the assumptions that has been considered in during this calculation because in this case uh, I will not be able to change beyond a certain limit about the uh, climatic condition because there are particular data has been fed based on the data available with the simulation tools. So very precise uh, conditions cannot be done which is possible where we can do a whole building simulation to understand that. So even the assumptions are being tabulated, your building de de details that have been given cash tabulated, outputs are tabulated, product that you have selected and its performance details will be tabulated and the impact overall impact or the payback analysis been given. So thank you and this session would help you to understand how the glass design can be done based on the safety which is ideally the glass thickness based on the location, based on the wind speed, based on the dimension. Another one is sustainability so based on the generation of products available, how to select the bandwidth performance requirement and how can you select a product and the third one is your aesthetics how can you select or how can you visualize the product, how can you see through and a simple tool, I have taken you a simple tool called glass wizard which helps you to understand uh, to design the glass thickness and to design the product selection for a simple condition. Thank you.